Hi guys, this is a very quick tutorial on the Tenergy 9X and Ergol $8 lithium ion battery mod as per the RC Model Reviews website and these are the batteries we're going to be using, the Trustfire and I'll have the link in the description to the article and also where to get these batteries from. Okay, first thing we need to do is remove the batteries and then what we do is using my trusted tool here we're going to use this wire, snip it away, and this will be connected to these. Okay, so what I've done here is I've um, just run a little bit of a wet and dry on the either end of the batteries, and this will just help me um, solder them. Okay, making sure the soldering iron is nice and hot. Get a little bit of solder on this. And that's nicely done. Same deal here. That one's done. Do the other side. What I'll do now, what I've done now is I've cut this white cable off and I'm going to tin either side of it and I'm going to tin the uh, connectors coming off this one, the positive and the negative. That's pretty straightforward. Heat it up. That's tinned. Now, the next thing I'll do is cut some fiberglass tape. Once I've cut that, place one battery in one direction and one in the opposite. Nice and tight. And there you go, positive, negative, and obviously vice versa. So what I'm going to do now is get these. This is the two plugs. One's for um, to supply power to the radio control. The other one is obviously for charging. So black to black. Twist those around each other. And I'll do the same with the positive. So once I've done that, put them in here, quickly tin them again, it won't need much solder this time. And what we have is negative, which will go to the negative on the battery. This is really awkward with the camera. And that seems to have connected. And we'll do the same with a positive. What you don't want to do is keep the solder on there too long because if you do I think there's a probability the batteries may explode, which probably wouldn't be a good thing. Once I've done that, then I'll actually connect these two. Same deal. It's connected. Now that's soldered on. It's not going anywhere. Um, 
So that should be pretty much okay. That's ready to go. So this is the plug that we're going to plug into the um, radio control. And this one here we'll use for charging. Uh, you may want to put a balance plug on there later on. Um, I haven't got any balance plugs at the moment. I'm still waiting for them, so I can't do that at the moment. So this is what we're going to go with. Now, for this to work, what we need to do, if we look very carefully here, um, we have that little, looks like a transistor or something along those lines. And what we need to do is there's a track coming off and going around and down to this uh, uh, surface mount resistor. And then what we have is two tracks over here too. What we need to do is remove this green film off these tracks. And what we're going to do is solder a uh, resistor between this here and there. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now I have no idea how well you're going to see this. But I'm going to attempt to tin this with a with a mobile phone in the way. One part tinned. It's another one tinned. I can't believe that worked. Sorry I couldn't talk you through that, but that was really difficult and it appears to be soldered in place okay. I'm not sure how well you're going to see that. So, there you go. That's about the best I can do, I think. And I don't think I've shorted anything out, which is good. Let's see if this works. Okay, this is the first time we're powering this up, so this should be interesting. Make sure you get the connection in correctly. Okay, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is basically, as you can see, the battery is connected and it's all set to go. We'll power it on. And there you go, it's on and it's working. Voltage looks fine. Uh, no alarms going off or anything like that. So there you go. That's basically the Turnigy 9X battery mod as per the RC model reviews. Uh, you may want to check out, I'll put a link in the description for the actual details about the mod itself. Um, it's pretty easy to follow. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.